I would like to talk a little bit about how exactly to know which direction the current induced by Faraday's law of induction will turn in a circuit. We have this equation that says that the induced voltage in a circuit is the negative of the change in flux. That's a little hard to interpret in terms of anticipating which direction the current will go. We could use this equation in order to get what the current magnitude is because we know Ohm's law says that voltage is equal to current times resistance. So at least we would know the magnitude of the current to anticipate in a circuit. But right now I'd like to anticipate what is the direction of that current because that's a challenging subject all by itself and it's the subject of many many kinds of typical questions that you'll see in a, in a typical physics class or a standardized test. Let's take a look at one particular picture where an induced current in a current in a loop induces a magnetic field uh, in reaction to pushing a bar magnet in. In this picture, I'm taking the north pole of a bar magnet and trying to shove it through a loop of wire. Faraday's law of induction and that minus sign means that the induced current tries to create a magnetic field that opposes what you are trying to do. Remember that the current that's flowing in the loop also will result in a magnetic field produced by the loop. So there is, in addition to an induced current, there is going to be an induced magnetic field from that current because every current produces its own magnetic field. This particular magnetic field points in a direction so as to oppose the motion of you pushing that bar magnet in. And the way that works is you should imagine of trying to shove that bar magnet in through the loop and there is a force exerted backwards against you opposing the thing you would like to do. If you're trying to shove the bar magnet north pole in, there has to be an opposing force from this induced current that tries to push the bar magnet right back out again. How would we do that? Well, the way we exert a backward force against that bar magnet with a north pole heading into the loop is for a north pole to be created out of that loop. So if I imagine that my thumb in a right-hand rule type application represents the direction of the north pole of the magnetic field from the current carrying loop and my fingers curl around the direction of the loop to represent the current, that's what tips me off as to what direction the current flows. In this picture, when the current flows counterclockwise and I wrap my fingers around in the direction of that current, that induced current, then my thumb points back toward the bar magnet. And when I do that, that thumb represents the north pole of the induced magnetic field. And now I have the north pole from that induced magnetic field facing the bar magnet, trying to push the bar magnet back out. That's a good way of deducing which way the current's going to flow. If, on the other hand, I imagine trying to pull that bar magnet back away from the loop, now the induced current flows in the opposite direction. It flows clockwise around the loop. If I try to pull that north pole away from the loop, Faraday's law of induction with that minus sign means that the ma magnetic field induced in the loop tries to draw the, ma the bar magnet back into the loop. How do I do that? Well, then I have to present a south pole to that bar magnet so that it tries to suck the north pole back in. And the way I get a south pole created out of that loop of wire is, again, if I point my thumb in the opposite direction, because that represents north pole, then my fingers curl around in, in, the, in the loop in the correct direction to, to predict what the current would be. And that gets me a clockwise current in the, magnet, in the loop. So you can always predict the direction the current will be flowing using this idea that the, the induced current always produces a magnetic field that tries to oppose the motion you have, you have in, introduced in the system. Faraday's law does not suggest that the field of the loop always opposes the field of the bar magnet, it opposes the direction of motion of the bar magnet. So whenever you're solving one of these problems, imagine the loop of wire itself is a bar magnet. What orientation of this new bar magnet would oppose the motion of the actual magnet in the picture? That's the thing that's going to set the direction of the current. So between the mathematical part of this uh, equation which says a way of calculating the voltage and that way uh, getting you a current from uh, Ohm's law and and this sort of conceptual picture a minus sign that represents opposing the motion 
that's the thing that will allow you both to get the current and the direction of the current. And that's very important in solving problems involving Faraday's law.